Hello, in the PCNP Assistant I added a new powerful section and now I will show you how it works. This is all services tab. Here you can disable and even block services that you do not need and there can actually be dozens and even more than a hundred. After all, Windows provides them for all cases of using a computer. But if you have a home computer, you probably don't need many administration functions, network settings and connecting certain types of devices. On the experimental computer, by disabling services that are optional need, it was possible to reduce the number of background processes from 153 to 72, more than twice. Of course, it will be easier for the processor and this will positively affect the performance of the computer. Why is my program useful? On this page you see a list of services on your computer and their startup mode at the moment. At the bottom there are buttons for changing the mode. Manual, disabled, automatic and another button block. This one not only disables the service, but blocks system access to it and the system could not itself change it and turn it back on. But the most important thing is the description of each service. That's what is available. A hint whether it is good to delete the service or not. And the collection of this database took much more time than the programming of this page. There are about 300 services in this database. This is exactly the number of them in your Windows. Plus drivers create their services, plus some programs also launch services into the system which start and work in the background. This step will help you figure it out. Some points may be unfinished, maybe something else needs to be added for convenience. Please note this in the comments. Write what you like and what you don't like. Thank you in advance. For convenience I added this filter to make it easier to work with services. You can display what according to the recommendations can be disabled. But pay attention. It doesn't mean you need it in your case. This means under certain conditions. Therefore, read carefully the description of each service that you are thinking to disable. Some affect a variety of areas. And before starting, just in case, make a restore point. It can be accessed in the top menu. Separately, you can display the drivers and disable those that you can see that you are no longer need. Maybe in the names you will see a manufacturer that you do not have. Spy services send your data to Microsoft and constantly monitor certain activities. The Microsoft makes its spies more and more tied to important functions. And if you just turn off telemetry, these are not so easy. These services hold several Windows functions and besides this, a pop-up window when you click on the clock or the network icon in Windows 11, its panel where Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flight mode, etc. are turned on. If the service is disabled, it will not appear. Services associated with the store can be disabled if you do not need application from the Microsoft Store. But here also be careful, there are a couple on which Bluetooth and the same pop-up function control panel depend. So this should not be disabled. On Windows 10 it may be easier, I didn't check. And separately the service is connected with an antivirus, some simply turn off, but some will not just have to be turned off, but block in safe mode. Do this if you disable them, but after PC restart, Windows restore their mode. With an antivirus in general difficulties, in the new version of Windows, Microsoft has made it more difficult to turn it off. Now you need to block a number of services and access to them by the system in safe mode. I noticed this while recording these videos, so I will try to improve the antivirus shutdown for the next version of the program. But now see this video to know how to disable antivirus and how to enter in the safe mode. Friends, try the program and soon watch the video how with the help of the PCNP assistant accelerate weak computer. Subscribe to not miss it. A comparison test with Windows 8 on a modern weak PC is also in the plan. And finally, as usual, I will show the program code so that you can see how everything is inside. When a tab with services appears, the Windows registry branch is scanned. Here it is, local machine, system, current control set, services. A list of services is compiled. After that, the startup mode is checked, the start parameter. 
as well as the display name here, either the name or the path to the service file. If start is 1, it's auto start with delay, 2 is automatic and 3 is manual and 4 is disabled. The next function clicking to select a row in the table. Here the serve desk file is scanned, which contains a database with information about all services and all this is displayed in text fields. Then comes the filter processing procedure, the combo box element is responsible for it. There is nothing to tell and in Dale there is a search in the database for certain keywords. And when you press the buttons, the start parameter changes in the selected service. Only the black button is different, here before changing the start, a command is launched that changes the owner of the registry key and takes away the rights from the system, transfers them to the administrator, that is to you. That's how it works, everything can be done manually, but you can't keep a description of each service in your head, because there are hundreds of them. I'm waiting for likes and comments for this database and program. And if you share a video of program with your friends, it will benefit both them and me. Thank you for watching, see you on the air!